What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Gear Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel, that's PC Tech Games and Gear. And today we have a very good piece of news coming out in the tech space. As we, man, PC enthusiasts, we need it right now. We've been getting bent over with GPU prices and RAM prices and just memory in general. It's been a nightmare. So it's good to see that hopefully we have some positive news coming up. So specifically I'm referring to the Ryzen 2700 leak that came out today. Um, obviously there was the 2700X leak, so we have an idea of kind of what to expect but this gave us a little more confirmation that for me in a way got me very excited. Now as anyone will tell you I'm not an Intel fan or an AMD fan. I was on Intel for like five or six years because AMD simply had nothing to offer that I was interested in. Right now I'm currently with AMD at least for my CPU because I felt like it was a better value for what I was trying to do. So specifically in these leaks we get two things that if true were more than we dare hope for but we were absolutely hoping for and that was better overclocking and better instructions per clock or single core speed. Intel still dominates in terms of gaming performance because its individual core speed, which is what is taken advantage of by many games, especially at 1080p, still is much faster than Ryzen. However, with these leaks, we're definitely, if true, going to see maybe a gap closing and getting closer to that performance and potentially offering a better value. So in terms of this leak, it is actually from video cards, even though WCCF Tech are the ones who point, uh, basically posted it. And um, it's essentially South Korean benchmarks, but I do trust the information to hopefully be true, um, kind of just based on where it's coming from. So the first thing you'll notice is that we have this weird 4.35 gigahertz overclock. Now, that's exciting in itself because as any Ryzen 7 user will tell you, overclocking was pretty underwhelming. Most of us weren't even able to hit a 4.0 GHz stably without seriously jacking up the voltage. So, anything over that's a definite improvement. 4.3 on just the XFR, which stands for Extended Frequency Range Technology, where essentially the chip will boost if it has the proper cooling above its na uh, basically natural clock, is extremely exciting because if we're getting that just with the over auto basically automatic overclocking the system's providing, it does stand to reason that we will be able to push it further. And if we can get another two to three hundred megahertz out of it, that would be a 4.5, 4.6 overclock which is very exciting because obviously that's what we've been kind of hoping for on the AMD side of things. Now in terms of single core performance, it is absolutely exciting to see that there is a marked improvement. Multi-core performance has um, basically been improved as well, but if we look at the 2700 over the previous generation of the 1700X, we see that there has been a marked improvement in overall single core performance. And it's closed the gap much closer to the 8600K and even the 8700K. Now while those two obviously still lead, any reduction in basically the lead that it has over AMD is going to create uh, more opportunity and definitely more, more value for consumers who are looking for more budget options or you know it's something that where essentially you're getting more cores for less. Now in terms of just kind of the Intel side of things, there was a rumor a while back that they're releasing an 8 core 16 thread processor and we base that off the fact that there have been motherboards released that supposedly are supposed to support it or going to be released is what I should say. But we haven't seen any news on that. I would be excited for Intel to release a product like that and I would gladly switch over obviously if it performed better for in terms of over AMD if it was either a drastic performance increase or if the cost made sense. But out of AMD it's good to see that we are seeing improvement over the previous generation because if it's good enough there are a lot of people who currently have R7s who will probably be upgrading and selling their old ones because it makes a lot of sense if you're trying to get better performance overall. So anyway guys this type of tech news does get me excited I'm always excited to see improvement over previous generations. If you like this video go ahead and let me leave me a big thumbs up if you didn't go ahead and leave me a thumbs down but as far as I uh, you know supporting my channel guys thank you to everyone who's using my my Amazon affiliate link make sure to use that if you're buying any computer parts or you know parts in general because I directly benefits me and remember I don't take any of that money it goes right back in the channel giveaways and speaking of those if you haven't already entered them they're down in the description below we're giving away a Ryzen APU and a Corsair keyboard and uh, mouse combo so check those out if you're not already entered and then thanks to all my current Patreons who are supporting me directly which is another great way if you want to do that but thank you guys I can't tell you how much I appreciate every single one of you my channel is continuing to grow rapidly and it's only because of the support of every single one of you guys thank you so much and uh, yeah get subscribed but we hope to see you next time here on Geared Inc.